colors, typography, composition, and layout. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 best website designs made with Framer. Without further ado, let's go! Alright, number one on the list is Sebastian Martinez, which features a highly engaging loading animation. Let me reload the page for you real quick. There we go, yeah. The placement of words and the playful use of typography immediately stands out as intriguing. Right from the hero section, you notice the clever arrangement of text and the bold eye-catching typography that draws you in. It's really captivating. As you scroll down, everything transitions dynamically. The letter seems to fall apart and Sebastian's name grows larger, staying visible beneath the cards and projects until it cleverly transforms into the footer. This seamless and creative interaction design is truly impressive and a unique touch. Perfect, man. Number two is the Unassemble website. This site also delivers some fantastic scroll-based effects. For instance, uh, when you scroll down from the hero section, the icons are scattered across the top, gathered together behind a large UI element. Additionally, the background color intensifies as you scroll down a small but impactful detail. If you look closely, there is a button that transforms into a menu as you reach it, which is super innovative idea. I've never seen something like that before, so hats up to the creator. It's really impressive, yeah. There is also a text section where the opacity changes as you scroll a trendy and visually appealing effect these days the rest of the page is filled with well thought out scrolling animation scroll, you know interactions and delightful micro motions even the bento card is creatively done with the smooth animations let me check their slider real quick mm, wow that's fantastic. The motion feels fluid and engaging. Although personally, I feel the website arrows could have been slightly better. A more rounded design might have made them feel smoother and more cohesive. Yeah, overall, it's a stunning. All right, number three on the list kicks things off with an impressive hero section featuring some stunning micro motions that the, the character in the center really stands out adding personality and reinforcing the brand identity uh, what's really cool is how the characters two eyes double as the cursor as we scroll the um, text elements loads dynamically the first one becomes sticky while the second hovers over it which i found super interesting yeah let's just scroll a bit further this section showcases their project and case studies is fairly straightforward, um, relying on sticky scrolling without any major surprises. Moving to the service section, there is a nice hover effect where keywords become highlighted, which adds a neat touch further down. Um, there is some typography paired with two tickers. It's decent, but uh, nothing groundbreaking, honestly. Um, I think they could have integrated the character from the top of the website more into these later sections. Um, they stuck with the some kind of cursor idea, custom cursor idea, but it feels a bit underutilized after such a strong start. Now, on to the number four, Mason Wong. The typography and custom font work on this website are next level. It's seriously impressive and not something just anyone can pull off. The intro animation seamlessly completes as you scroll which is a very trendy and popular effect these days. While the site doesn't use a lot of effect, the overall design remains exceptionally clean, well executed and beautifully minimalistic. Okay, finally, we have the number five, my favorite one. Yeah, I love how the character at the start changes as you scroll. It morphs into another character, which is such a creative touch, but 
I'm not entirely sold on how the titles load. I think the site seems to re uh, reference some uh, some kind of historical or Japanese story. I feel a fade in and fade out effect might have suited the titles better than the correct bottom to top animation. Further down, um, there is a visually stunning section featuring illustrations and that perfectly matches the site's style. Accompanied by some uh, fantastic motion effect toward the bottom, we see two more cards where the character swap out on hover. It's super cool and incredibly creative. All right, next up is website number six, Oleg Mazny. The typography for the name is super intriguing, and I have to say, props for the creativity in the type design. At first, uh, it might look like a simple text, but it's far from that. It's actually quite clever and unique. Scroll down. Um, the hover style on the cards is really well executed and perfectly matches the um, navigation and overall vibe of the website. The footer is also quite appealing. It uses uh, in Memoji, if I'm being correct, alongside the typography we saw earlier, which isn't bad. Personally, I'd have preferred to see the Memoji customized to match with the website style. Maybe adding some um, pixelated effect or something similar could have aligned it better with the overall look. Next up, uh, website number seven. It appears to be a fashion brand with the domain i dash d yeah and we see the same name in the hero section it has a nice rotation effect that combined with the text below does a great job of conveying the brand voice in the next section below we have two scroll bars um the one on the right scrolls scrolls a bit slower and creating this effect is quite challenging since it needs to stay perfectly synchronized with the left one the following section features a simple slider then uh, we see the scroll bars repeated again next is um a section that i personally find very captivating a full screen video that rapidly showcases a few images the next part again uh, features two side by side scroll bars but this time it's really engaging and, and genuinely makes me want to check out their instagram the style of the instagram card displayed here is truly impressive all right number eight which has gained a quite reputation in the framework community i believe it's because of the fine details in the subtle uh, motion design they have implemented of course the hero section is also very creative for instance take a look at this card on the right when you scroll its motion synchronizes perfectly with your scrolling which is a really cool effect another example is the interactive cards that respond when you hover over them i'm also a big fan of the button effects they have used here absolutely love it i've created a similar bubble effect on a button on myself uh, you can check it out it's another video on this channel yeah and next one is browsing mode which has a straightforward concept it collects websites based on functionality aesthetics and style i found the idea and it's clean execution with framer quite captivating i like that as i've said as i mentioned before in many of my videos framer isn't just for creating portfolios or just some simple websites for example uh, this one is built with framer and serves a purpose similar to dribble or awards uh, but it's focused solely on curation rather than offering the full features of those platform and finally the last item framers own website for 2023 it's no longer just a template it's been um, rebranded the effects and attention to detail here are absolutely amazing for example in the hero section there are some images that when you drag them i think it has a blending mode effect on it and it creates such a 
strong stunning visual further down um, there is a series of images that shifts diagonally as you scroll another standout feature is the community section where the images um, grow larger as you scroll the combination of oversized text bold typography and design related visual elements ties everything together beautifully i really like the framer 2023 website all right guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel see you next time peace